So today I'm going to my first lesson at Shuo Hao Language Center and I'm super excited! Oh my god! So excited that I get to give you guys a little tour. The school is located pretty centrally in Da'an by Da'an Station and uh, it's kind of like Taiwan's big central park, New York City Central Park. And I thought that the vibe of the place was super cute, super minimal and yeah, everything you need to study. Isn't it cute? The classroom setting is very personal. The classes are quite small, so you can get a lot of personal attention. And the teacher makes a very great effort to make sure that everyone participates, even if not everyone is super, you know, willing or ready to speak out. And so you can really take your time depending on the level as well. You can kind of get a feeling for what everybody else is ready for and then if that is an encouraging environment for you or not luckily you can do a trial lesson first or a few trial lessons to fill out your level and I highly recommend you doing that okay so class was pretty fun well, we mostly did vocabulary today I'm gonna be popping in and out of different classes and different levels so that was level 3 and actually I enjoyed it quite a bit I think it was good for my level Next class, level four. It's so Chinese, you can always see someone exercising outside. I mean, I guess it's Asian in general, but especially Chinese. On a window Watch the time float on Cool it blows up The apartment, and I just want to talk a little bit about the lessons and the school and the first impressions and the everything. So originally this school was recommended to me by a friend. So I already had high expectations because that friend, Deandra by the way, they're really cool and talk about languages, civil rights, all the cool stuff that I love. Anyway, they told me that they liked the teacher because they're into languages and speak a lot of languages and also taught English for a long time. I felt like I could trust their judgment. So I reached out to Shuo Hao, even though it was kind of small and they don't have a lot of followers, which is another reason why I want to make this video. So first impressions of the class, okay. Please ignore the giant bruises that I always have. <laughs> the class was good. The size is around six people generally and they did facilitate a lot of speaking. So like this class, we mostly did vocabulary. So we went through the vocabulary list. I think the teachers have it or what she was saying. Like she was saying that she tends to start and go through all the vocabulary, exa give example sentences, talk about different like use cases, make you speak, then go to the grammar then the dialogues and the readings and stuff, which is which is a good format, I think. It was a little fast, like she rubs off the board pretty fast because majority of students aren't writing. And I think that's because, I mean, it's kind of hard to write Chinese characters fast. Personally, I like to write as we go because it helps me to remember things, especially since she's telling us like example sentences and things and use cases that are not necessarily written in the book. Of course, you can figure that out, but you know, there are just some details that I would like to write down. And I got to write down some, but I didn't get to write down everything and I definitely didn't get to format my notes. But at the same time, we barely finished the vocabulary in two hours, which means I understand why she goes fast. <laughs> Before I give like a full review, I think I definitely need to see the other type of classes. But for now, I'm feeling really good about this school.
cool thing about this school is that they already have all of the vocabulary sets from the textbooks that they use plugged into Quizlet and you can auto add them to your Quizlet account by scanning these QR codes that are in literally every single classroom, every room. And it's so convenient and so cool. <laughs> This was my first one-on-one -on -one experience at Shuohao and I liked it a lot. It was very free, there was a lot of space for me to kind of co-create the lesson with my teacher, which I think is very important. When I do one-on-one -on -one lessons online or otherwise, I always come to the lesson with some idea of how I actually want to work with the teacher. The thing is that language learning is a very individual experience and so if you've had some experience learning already, you know how you study, you know what kind of things you don't like, you know what kind of things really like or what side of the language skill you want to build, then you should bring that information and discuss it with your teacher or find a teacher that is willing to discuss it with you. And definitely this was the kind of space where I could discuss with my teacher and uh, have a opinion about how we study and that was really fun. Well, I really like coming to this park. It's between where I'm staying right now and the school that I'm going to study. But I like it a lot. Summer it's super cute and I don't know, just like a little oasis in the middle of the city. And there's banyan trees. I love these Watch kind of trees. <laughs> the next class I went to was level four and also a one-on-one -on -one class in the same day. And I absolutely loved it. Okay, I thought the other class was fast. This class was so much faster, but everyone was way more into actually practicing Chinese even if they could not speak very well. There were so many interactive things and I had so much fun. Uh, that just goes to show you that you should definitely try different classes and test out what's the right way for you. I'm, this place is great. Especially native speaker, some of the ones I learned to go to the dance. But I think the teacher was very good. He gave me a lot of advice. Even though I'm not American, I can still you know, <laughs> what's really good? Because I think my husband, he, 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 also wanting to talk about some things that I learned. So, okay, I learned what you can't buy for Taiwanese people. Like, not friends, not family, not boyfriend. There are a few things that you can't buy because of superstitions. Like, you can't gift a watch, which is hilarious because I got a watch for Christmas from my boyfriend. Um, <laughs> because watch sounds like death. Something like that. <laughs> and you can't gift your boyfriend shoes because it's like, which I also didn't know about. I feel like in the US, lots of boys want shoes as presents. As a speaking lesson, a private speaking lesson, I give it 4.5 out of 5. The only thing that could have been better was maybe in the beginning, I could feel like she wanted to give it more structure. And for a speaking lesson, I feel like there should be less structure and a lot more focus on trying to just hold the vibes for the student. But that's a personal preference as well. So I think, yeah, I could easily give it 5 out of 5. 
Hey yo, it's editing day. <laughs> I forgot to film an intro. I really, really loved studying at Shuhao and in Taipei, and I really hope that I'll have an opportunity to study there again. I am dying to go back and to perfect my Mandarin in the one week, and it was just like a handful of lessons. I felt like I improved a lot. The the main reason for me going to Taiwan was because I'm going to meet my partner's family, whose English is not perfect, and so. I didn't want to go straight into that environment, and I'm already anxious. I'm already feeling kind of uncomfortable, so I wanted to go in and study, brush up my Mandarin, feel comfortable with Taiwan, feel comfortable in myself a little bit, and then meet the family. You know. So, anyway, Shuhao, thank you so much for inviting me to school and letting me film. I enjoyed it so much, and I hope to study there again. If you guys have any questions for Shuhao or me or Mandarin or anything, then please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.